What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 ladies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for July 2022. For sign of Sag, this will resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter, Charge, Stuff will do basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Sag. I suggest everybody check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs as well um, to get additional message or messages. Um, this is, these are free, intuit, uh, free channeled messages, psychic intuitive channel messages, okay? Um, this is free general collective reading, so it's very important to plug it in where it resonates for you. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply, only you know... <clears throat> Excuse me. Your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, Sag. Okay. You have gazelle and deer. For some, you could be dealing with earth sign or two or two plus earth signs. Double earth sign energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and they're sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may have Jupiter charts if you are Sag. <clears throat> Experiments do she have not Sag. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to um, share my channel very publicly via social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Um, I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for July 2022, Sagittarius. <clears throat> and I heard a significant case management meeting. Um, is about to become very, very, very significant in a Sagittarius' life. That's what I heard. A significant case management meeting is about to become very, very, very significant in a Sag's life. So I feel for some, <clears throat> for some, I feel you're a case manager or you are, um, you are a family member participating in a case management meeting. Um, for some, you could work at a skilled nursing facility, uh, a hospital, or anything that has case management. Um, well, school, um, school nursing don't have case management. Hospitals do. Hospitals have case management. Um, how that resonates, but a significant case management meeting is about to become very significant in the Sagittarius life. For some, you could work, um, I think, Child Protective Services, don't they have case managing, case management? I know hospitals do. I know they do. Wherever has case management, um, however that applies, okay? I feel you could be a family member participating in this significant case management meeting, or you could be an employee participating in this case management meeting. Um, I feel you could be a social worker, or you could be a, a nurse, LPN, LVN, RN, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or something of that nature, or you could be a, Something of that nature. How that resonates. Experiments that you should have thought that. One second. We have justice and broken heart. An ending with the Scorpio masculine has come for one, for one, it's about to finally come. For one, you're happy about this, for one, you're not. An ending, significant ending with the Scorpio masculine for some has already come. For one, it's about to come. For one, you're happy that this ending has already occurred or is about to occur. For one, you're not. So for the one that's happy that the ending has already occurred with the Scorpio masculine or is about to occur, um, I'm assuming that's broken heart reversed. You're not upset about this. But for the one that is happy 
the ending with the Scorpio masculine has already occurred or is about to occur, you're not happy about it, I think you're going to have a broken heart. And I think in both of these situations, it's going to give justice to a situation. Um, and I think balance energy, which is your energy, Sag, um, I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive logic reasoning and guesstimate on this. Some kind of Scorpio masculine energy. Um, he could have Scorpio in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Haven, or Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it's an ex lover. For some, it's your baby daddy. For some, it's your father. He passed away. Oh my Lord, I'm my condolences for whoever's father passed away. I'm so sorry. So for some of you guys, the Scorpio masculine was your father that already passed away. For some, it's your baby daddy. And for some, it is your um, former lover. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel it might have been a third party, sneaky link, a situationship, or what have you, what have you. You plug it in, how it resonates. Your messages you have a sound sage. Maybe one of you guys is very stubborn about a situation or somebody is just, you're dealing with somebody stubborn because it's taken me forever to get these cards out. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sound sage. Death spells have already started backfiring and they're going to continue to backfire. Know this. Death spells have already backfired and they're going to continue to backfire. Know this? My God. So some kind of death spell energy. Hopefully you're not a low vibrational Sag that has done death spells or has participated in death spells. Um, I don't know. Only you know your story now. Anybody else? Uh, I feel for a majority of you guys, you're high vibrational Sages that do not participate in death spells. And I think somebody was putting them on you. And it's already started backfiring on them, and it's going to continue. And that, um, however, that resonates. Spirit messages you have is not that. A family member is about to turn on a Sagittarius in a huge way. It's about to open their eyes in a huge way. A family member is about to turn on a Sagittarius in a huge way. It's about to open their eyes in a huge way. So some... <coughs> Excuse me. Some kind of toxic family member energy. Um, it sounds like they haven't done it yet. They haven't tennis or she yet, but they're about to. It's toxic family energy. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's why I don't speak to my toxic ass family and that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth. Um, but one of you guys has toxic family and they're about to betray you. Tennis orgy right in the back. Um, but it's about to give you a wake up call when they do it. So that's good. For some, it's a brother. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's a brother. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's a cousin. For some, it's a cousin. For some, it's a brother. For some, it's a mother. Mother. For some, it's a cousin. So for some of you guys, it's a brother. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's a cousin. Toxic family member that's about to betray you in a huge way. But once they betray you, tennis swords you right in the freaking back, it's about to open your eyes and give you a wake-up call. So that's good. 
Number nine could be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number nine, we have gazelle, deer, heavy earth sign energy, justice, broken heart, involvement with the law, muddled, unclear thinking, secret admirer. Gazelle, Things are about to start speeding up in a workplace in a huge way. Skilled nursing facility. Okay, I heard things are about to speed up in a um, in a workplace situation soon. Um, skilled nursing facility. So I feel for one of you guys, you work at a skilled nursing facility. Um, or you have a family member in this skilled nursing facility. Um, I think for a majority of you guys should work at a skilled nursing facility because I heard things are about to speed up in the workplace in a skilled nursing. So I think for a majority of you guys, you work at this skilled nursing facility. That's why I'm getting this. I think you work at this skilled nursing facility and things are the workload's about to increase, basically. That's exactly what I think. So gazelles are fast. They're very fast. And um, and that's, I think that's indicative of the fast energy in this skilled nursing facility um, about to start speeding up for you. Gazelle, fast energy. Gazelles are very fast. Not as fast as a cheetah, but they're fast. So you plug in how it resonates. For some, um, I feel you could have a earth sign co-worker or earth sign boss with the gazelle energy possibly. A Tauren boss for a Sagittarius feminine, you're about to butt major heads with this person. It's about to be a life-changing conversation. Life-changing. It probably will make you want to quit your job. And you probably will. Taurus masculine. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, okay, so I feel a lot of you guys, you work at a skilled nursing facility and the workload's about to increase. I think there's about to be probably filling up of the beds, the occupancy, the census. I, um, I think it's about to start going, 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 going. That's for a majority of you guys that work at a skilled nursing facility. You know, you could be a CNA, you could be a um, PCA, you could be um, LPN, LVN, RN. Uh, D-O-N, A-D-O-N, administrator, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's for a majority of you guys, okay? For one of you guys, you're a, uh, a Sag Femme, and you work at a skilled nursing facility, and you have a Taurus boss, Taurus masculine boss. And I heard basically there is about to be a significant life-altering conversation between you and this Taurus masculine boss. I heard it's going to be so bad. So like five of wands energy, conflictual energy. Um, that it's probably going to end up making you want to quit. And I heard you probably will. Um, it's, it is going to be bad. It is going to be bad. My God, what the hell happened? Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Something has happened to cause this, uh, or is about to happen to cause this conversation. Um, just for real, for real. And I'm serious. Uh, whoever you are, Sag Femme, that works in a skilled nursing facility. No, he's not going to quit. A, uh, let up on you. He is not going to. He knows the truth. Okay, I heard no. He's not going. No, he is not going to let up on you. He knows the real truth. So um, I think he's going to. I heard he's not going to let up. So he's going to keep keep on and keep on. I mean, I don't know what the hell happened here, Sag. Whoever you are, if this message applies for you, something has happened. Something has happened. To make him not let up on you. Um, I don't know if it's a medication error. I don't know if it's um, a pending lawsuit. I don't know if it was a death. I don't know. But something in this skilled nursing facility, in this workplace environment, has caused, um, maybe it was a sentinel event. I don't 
no. But whatever the crap it was, which usually they use the term sentinel events for hospitals, but you could have sentinel, sentinel events in um, anywhere in healthcare, and that's just the truth. Um, whatever the hell it is, he's not going to let up on you. So bad, you, uh, I heard you probably will quit. So just know that if that resonates for you. I didn't hear anything else. Dear. I'm meeting with a friend of your past, Earth Sign Femme friend. Some younger Earth Sign Femme friend, some older Earth Sign Femme friend. This is about to become very heartwarming in your life. A mug and coffee. Well, that's beautiful. So for some of you guys, you have an older Earth Sign Femme friend. Um, so I'm a younger Earth Sign friend, Femme friend. I think this is your Earth Sign Femme friend. I feel they can be masculine or feminine. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They're very high vibrational, I feel, and they're very positive influence in your life, or they have been. Um, I heard it sounds like you're about to meet up with them soon, so I don't know if they're going to contact you or you're going to contact them, but somehow you're going to connect and contact and meet up. Heard it's going to be very positive in your life. Heard a mug and coffee. So it feels like you guys are going to share um, some conversation over some mugs of coffee. Um, maybe you're going to go to Starbucks um, or you're going to just chill at the house with them some mug and coffee. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. I don't have friends in 3D. So how that resonates for you, Sagittarius. But congrats to you because... Uh, that's really beautiful energy. It's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. High vibrational Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. They could have uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy for charts. High vibrational friend energy. So it's definitely somebody you already know for sure. Significant video camera footage in a skilled nursing facility is about to become life-changing in a Sagittarius' life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Some you work in corporate, some you work in the facility. Okay, significant um, video. We are pulling in such skilled nursing facility energy. Significant video camera footage in a um, skilled nursing facility is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. Uh, for some of you guys, you work in corporate. For some, you work in the actual facility. But it's about to become very significant, either in a positive or negative way in your life. You have to plug yourself in your fit. Do you work in corporate? Do you work in the facility? Um, are you doing things you're not supposed to be doing? Are you not? Um, if you work in corporate, I'm assuming you might be watching the video camera footage or you're about to. Or somebody sends you the video camera footage. Somehow the video camera footage is significant to the person in corporate and the person that works in the skilled nursing facility. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, Sagittarius's. Um, I feel this is the watching of the video camera footage. Dear, 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 they're very um, aware. They're very aware of their surroundings and, well, well they should be. Um, watchful eyes, I feel. Watchful eyes energy is what I'm feeling. Watching eyes, they're watching you. Justice. There is about to be huge justice in a legal situation soon regarding child custody battle. For one, you're directly involved with this. For one, you are indirectly involved with this. For one, you're going to be happy about this, for well, one, you're not. You're going to be very, very upset. The one that's going to be very, very upset is going to create very negative series of chain of events for you. Tower moments here. Because there was major things done in the dark and it, the balance has to be restored. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So, child custody battle energy here. 
Um, for some, you're directly involved with it. For some, you're indirectly involved. So for some, I feel you're the plaintiff or the defendant. For some, you're indirectly involved. So I feel you're a, a stepmother, stepfather, a um, family member, or a coworker or acquaintance of the person, plaintiff or defendant. But however that resonates, um, some, it's going to go very well for you. I feel if you're the plaintiff or defendant. For some, it's not going to go very well for you. But for the ones that are not, uh, it's not going to go well for you. I heard um, it's going to create like negative power moment S type energy because there was something that was done way in the dark and it's come to the light or it's about to come to the light um, and balance has to be restored. So there was something done in the dark regarding children, child or children, which is really, really disgusting. Um, that shouldn't happen. Um, but apparently it has in the universe. So justice um, in this legal situation where balance needs to be restored. Now you have to plug yourself in where you fit in these situations if you do fit. But justice energy coming no matter where you guys fit and how this plugs in. Um, it's at least two child custody battles upcoming in the universe. We're July 1st, 2022. I feel for some of these, they're about to occur this month in the month of July. For some, it could be August some on and on you plug it in how it resonates for some you could be dealing with a libra or have dealt with the libra or not if you are they could have leaps in their sun moon rising venus or the main hammer jupiter charts if you have been or are A significant vacation coming for Sagittarius. Much deserved. A significant vacation coming for a significant Sag. Much deserved. So justice in this aspect is justice. Um, you taking a much deserved um, vacation. Now, um, I don't know if you are an owner of your own business or a co-owner of a business or you're going to take PTO in an employment situation. You have to plug it in how it resonates with some kind of justice about to be um, served with you being able to take some self-care um, for a vacation. Everybody needs that, that's for sure. Broken heart. A Pisces femme doppelganger is about to say some very, very, very hurtful things to a Sagittarius feminine. However, however, this Sagittarius Feminine is about to transmute the energy on her in a huge way. Save the, some it's going to be a voicemail, some it's going to be text messages, going to save it and send it to the appropriate authorities. One, you will put a protection order on her and create negative series of came events for her. Okay, my gosh. So Pisces Femme Doppelganger energy. Um, she could be your doppelganger or somebody else's doppelganger, but I heard a Pisces Femme Doppelganger. So she could have Pisces in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter charts, but it sounds like upcoming soon she's going to say some very, very hurtful things to you. Some of you guys on a voicemail, so it sounds like you're not going to answer the phone and she's going to say it on the voicemail. And it sounds like you have voicemail activated and you clear out your voicemails and she's able to leave it. For some, um, it's going to be on text, but whatever it is, it's going to be very, very, very hurtful. Um, so much so I heard you're going to transmute the energy, um, and set, um, save it and then, um, c contact authorities. Um, some, at least one of you guys is going to put a protection order on her. So, um, it's going to be that bad, whatever the crap she says in voicemail or whatever the crap she puts in text or text. Um, I think she I think she intentionally wants to hurt you. I think she wants to give you a broken heart, whoever you are, and how this applies, Sagittarius Femme. You're a Sag Femme. I think she truly uh, I mean, why would you say those things in a voicemail or a text if you're not intentionally trying to hurt somebody? That's just the truth. Um, but it sounds like you're about to transmute the energy in a very positive way. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag Femme. That's um kudos to you. 
for transmuting the energy. It doesn't sound like you're going to go out and mow anybody down with a firearm or assault anybody or domestic violence anybody. It just sounds like you're going to handle it with the law, which that could be where the um, involvement with the law is going to come in with the one of you guys going to put a protection order on the Pisces Femme doppelganger with a protection order. So I think you're going to get called the police for one. For one, I heard authority. So however that resonates. But one, I feel it's going to be with the police with a protection order. Or however you get a protection order in your area. However that resonates, okay? And that could be justice too with the um, protection order energy. Like I said, I feel she could be your doppelganger or she could be somebody else's doppelganger. Now, anybody doesn't know a doppelganger is somebody that intentionally, well, not intentionally, I'm sorry. A doppelganger is somebody that either naturally looks like somebody on the external or they intentionally recreate themselves externally to look like somebody through cosmetics or something like that. So she's either your doppelganger or somebody else's doppelganger, but I heard doppelganger for a reason. So protection order energy for one of you guys, you plug it in, how it resonates. But that's mean. That's mean and spiteful and malicious and nobody should. That's harassment is what that is. That's harassment and bullying. That's why I keep in the freaking cell. I, I don't want to harass, bully, or harm anybody, but I don't want it done on me. Whoever this person is, she feels like she can just go around and just do it to whoever she wants. But you're about to teach her a lesson there, Saj. Involvement with the law. An FBI agent is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. For one, you are a REN. For one, you're a lawyer. For one, you work in logistics. For one, you work in manufacturing. Okay, I heard FBI agent is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. For one, you're a REN. For one, you're a lawyer. For one, you are. Um, you work in logistics, and for one, you work in manufacturing. So um, the law in this aspect is an FBI agent. Um, so why ever they are about to become involved in your life, I'm not sure. I think it's to get justice for a uh, person, people, place, or situation. For some, it could be justice for you. For some, it could be justice for somebody else. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you're an RN, registered nurse. For some, you're a, um, you work in manufacturing in some shape, form, or fashion, for some logistics, for some um, a lawyer. So you plug it in how it resonates. A significant shooting at a nightclub is about to lead to a huge case. For one, you're going to witness this shooting. A significant shooting at a nightclub is about to become very significant, and for one, you're going to witness this shooting. So it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. Some kind of significant shooting at a nightclub. Um, Upcoming, it sounds like in universe, whoever you are, you frequent nightclubs or you're about to frequent a nightclub. Um, and it sounds like the shooting is going to occur, but you're going to witness it. So um, I think you might get a call from an investigator or investigators, or this might be speaking to police um, after the shooting occurs um, or something of that nature. You plug it in, how it resonates, whoever that's for, um, you're about to visit a nightclub in a some shape, form, or fashion. I'm not a nightclub purveyor, never have been, but I'm not judging people that do. But that's one reason why I don't go, because people can get way out of hand. And that's just true. Forest muddled, unclear thinking. Confusion spells have been put on one Sagittarius, but they're about to wear off in a huge way. And for one Sag, confusion spells have been 
put on, uh, have been attempted on you, but they have already returned to sender. You're very, very, very high vibrational, very. Okay, so for one of you guys, confusion spells have been put on you. It sounds like they have, they work. Um, it sounds like your vibration had been low, um, or is low, and they basically work. So some kind of confusion spell energy for at least one, and that's the muddled, unclear th thinking, the confusion, with the confusion spells. For one, you're a very, very, very high vibrational Sag, and basically it's already returned to sender. It's automatically boomerang back because you're so high vibrational um, in yourself and in probably in the spiritual realm. Um, I feel you're very spiritual. Now, I'm not saying you're a reader, but you're definitely spiritual. Uh, whether you're religious and spiritual or you're just spiritual, I'm not sure, but you're high in the spiritual realm. So it's already automatically just boomerang back, returned to sender, which is beautiful. So they tried to put confusion on you for a situation too, but it didn't work. It's already returned to sender. You go with your bad self, Sag. Face, secret admirer. A Sagittarius is about to receive a communication soon from someone they never thought was romantically interested in them, but they are. It's about to shock you. This is a very high vibrational being, and you're a very high vibrational being. This person really respects you. Wow, this is great. So you plug in how it resonates. You're a high vibrational Sag, and whoever you're dealing with is a high vibrational being too. Masculine or femme. I heard um, they're about to reach out to you soon. So they're about to reach out to you and um, communicate and reach out and let you know they're interested in you, like romantically. I think they probably want to ask you out on a date. Um, whoever you are, ma'am. Um, well, sir, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Whoever you are. Um, but anyways, um, I heard it. Um, it sounds like y'all are a good match. It sounds like y'all are a good match. I hope I heard you're both very high vibrational. And... Um, it's it, obviously they don't have trouble communicating because they're about to communicate with you. So I don't know if it's text or um, or email or a phone call or a voicemail or a snail mail or what have you, but um, they don't have trouble communicating. Um, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like they are interested in you, but you were going to be shocked as hell because you had no idea they were interested in you like that. Um, I heard they're very high vibrational. Uh, and you're high vibrational too. So secret admirer energy. Wow, that's beautiful. Beautimus. Whoever that's for. By the way, anybody doesn't know, my kitty just had his fourth birthday. Well, it was a couple weeks ago. Fourth birthday, you guys. He's so old. And I had some timeline memories pop up to, uh, today, actually. Um, uh, four years ago when I first got him. Well, I think I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all. Back when he was a little kitty kitty. Four years ago, you guys. Back when I had a cute haircut. I need to get my hair cut again. He was so cute. I'm going to show, show you. And see if I get more on channel. On my Facebook. Because I only have Facebook. I don't have any other um, social media platforms. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Let me show you guys. And it's just me and him. So, yeah, let me show you guys. Oh, okay. Four years ago, you guys. Let me show you. See how little he was? See, y'all see the difference? Any cute? And then, hold on. See how little he was compared to what he is now? Little snuffle, snuffle kid. And then one more. I just figured I'd show that with my sides collective. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else.
be dating coming soon for one Sagittarius. Online dating coming soon for one Sagittarius. Speed dating coming soon for one Sag and online dating coming soon for one Sag. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I feel you're going to gain a secret admirer or secret admirers from the speed dating or the online dating. Um, whoever that's for, um, it's upcoming. So for some, you could already be speed dating or um, online dating. But for whoever that message is for, it's upcoming. So you're about to start speed dating. I've never sped date. I've heard of it. But I've never sped date. Um, I'm not into dating. Um, Y'all know that. Um, me being gang stalked for about two years just kind of killed all that shit for me. And that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth for real, for real. I'm not interested in nobody. That's the truth. Um, but congrats to whoever is about to do this. It's, it sounds like you're about to um, put yourself out there. Really, really um, test the waters. Tech the toes in. Just please be careful, everybody. Please be careful. Please, please, please. Because, um... There are obsessive, creepy people out there. And I'm not saying you're going to run into an obsessive, creepy pe person. I did not hear that. Just from your lo local reader here that cares about everybody. I want everybody to be safe, okay? So just be careful. Um, be careful. Um, online dating can be dangerous, but it can be effective. You just got to do it safely, okay? And same for the speed dating, okay? Just please be careful. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A Sagittarius masculine and a earth sign feminine is about to completely break it off soon. She is not interested anymore. You intuitively know this. There's about to be big changes here. Big changes. Okay. Um, there's about to be ending between a Sag masculine and an Earth sign femme. Um, I heard big changes coming here. So 555 five, five energy. You're a Sag masculine and you're dealing with an Earth sign femme. Um, and I would actually pull her up as the gazelle and not the deer energy because I heard it's about to come soon. 555 five, five change energy. So speedy 555 five, five change energy here with your Earth sign femme. I think she might be a girlfriend or fiance, maybe for some a legally married spouse, but I heard basically she's not interested anymore, but you're highly intuitive and you know she's not. So I think something has already happened in the universe, um, like nonverbal signs or maybe, or, or actually something in the physical 3D you've seen with your eyes that has made you know that she's not interested in you anymore in the romantical department. Um, and uh, I heard it's about to just basically come to an end. It's about to come to an end. I think you're going to part ways or she's going to part ways. I don't know if you're going to break up or she's going to break up or what have you, what have you. But um, there's about to be an ending here to this relationship. Um, there has been a huge betrayal here from this Earth sign fam. Many of them. It's going to be very beneficial for you, but you know of these betrayals. You know it's better for you. Okay, so there's been many betrayals here by this earth sign femme. You know of the betrayals. So whatever betrayals they are, and that could be the broken heart energy and the justice energy, you know. I, I, I think she's cheated on you. I think she's cheated on you, which is giving you a broken heart, but there's about to be justice because you're about to move on is what I'm feeling. Um, and just leave it leave it all behind and just move on to greener pastures, um, which is not your earth sign femme betrayer. I feel she's cheated on you. And I think maybe you were the one that's about to start speed dating or online dating, possibly. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates, Sag. Only you know your story, not anybody else. A rose coming soon for Sagittarius. A rose coming soon for a Sagittarius. That's what I heard. A rose coming soon for a Sag. So one of you guys is going to get a rose. Well, how sweet. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. I hope this helped. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it. 
single mom with two kids, so it really helps support a single mama and one of her income streams. Everybody, please um, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and meditation, if you pray or meditate, um, because I have court date on July 15th. Just let everybody know um, for me. Okay? Love everybody. Everybody, have a good day. Namaste.